What is this? Two videos in one day. What is this craziness? Are we in the Twilight Zone? Are we going back in time? Back in November when I did that whole week of just videos about Breaking Dawn and Twilight and Robin Kristen and uh, Kristen and Awesomeness? No. No, we are not. We are not in the Twilight Zone. I just have so many things to release to the universe. So many feelings going on in my little brain right now. Um, so many things to say. Um, some of them are... Some of them might piece you off, some make you happy, some might make you go like, Yeah, totally, I felt like that! Uh, but before I get to that, I'd just like to say congratulations to those of you who won tonight. Congratulations, I'm not going to be a so sore loser. I have no ill will towards any of you. Yes, I'm a little annoyed, flash pissed off that some, peop that some people won and others didn't. But I'm not going to bitch and moan about it. This is not... This is not where I want to do it, and I am not going to do it. Because it's stupid, and honestly, you're just going to cause unneeded drama between two fa two no, not two, three fandoms that really already have enough drama. Anyways, so I'm not going to add on to it. So again, congratulations. You deserve it. You definitely deserve it. So... Now, uh, now, my thought process is that um, if... We were to have won MTV Movie Awards, I would have made a vlog about it, but if we didn't won, I probably wouldn't have made a video. But, considering what has occurred tonight, um, it would be rude of me not to make a video about the awesomeness that was the MTV Movie Awards 2012, for the most part. Now, as you guys know from my video, from the video I made a few hours ago, and the video I made a month ago, I was not going to watch the MTV Movie Awards. And you know what? I didn't. I kept my word. I wasn't going to watch it, so I didn't. Uh, but I did um, ask the help of Twitter to keep me updated. Or I just asked, I just honestly, I tweeted, will anybody help me, like, tweet me who wins the awards, like, help me keep up to date? Because my timeline just kept zooming by on my computer and on my iPod, and it was just hard for me to keep up. I'm like, wait, what's going on? Wait, who? Huh? Who just, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> so, the lovely Katniss Stu, or Katie, as I call her, one of my closest friends, on Twitter and on here helped me and I already told her that I already tweeted her thanks but again I'd just like to say thank you girl I love you huh just cyber hugs cyber hugs I love you and um, without her I probably have been really confused and just not knowing what's going on and um, I was thrown into twiddle 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 Twitter jail I can't talk I have too many emotions going through me I was thrown into Twitter jail for about an hour, which was lovely, and we had a direct message for a while, but we we conquered it, we went through it, and, um, you know, everything went well. So, uh, the first thing I like to talk about before I tell you my feelings on uh, who, us winning, um, the one thing that I found very um, rude and I really, I'm pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure everyone feels this way about it. Um, the fact, um, I'm not mad that Jennifer Lawrence won for Best Actress. The thing that really got me just going, just really got me pissed, was the fact that Kristen was the presenter for that award. Um, uh, that was just rude. I mean, she won the last three years and to have her present the award that she should have been nominated for was just a really big slap in the face and I don't I'm, it's probably just me but I had I have the feeling that if Rob was there that he would have been presenting for best actor that's just me I'm pretty I don't know that's just a feeling that I had and honestly if that would have happened and if he were, was there and that happened to him I would have honestly just been so pissed I mean I mean, Kristen deserved that award so much, and, I mean, she was just beautiful in Breaking Dawn, and so was Rob, and I'm just really mad that 
um, they did that to her and they made her present that award. That's the only thing I'm really mad at. Congratulations to Jennifer Lawrence. She was really funny. I actually watched her acceptance speech. I do think she's funny. I have nothing against her. She is a really cool girl, I think. She very much reminds me of Kristen. She is very much like Kristen in many in many ways. Um, except I think Chris, uh, I think Jennifer Lawrence is more like, you know, she's just, you know, just more, I don't know, willing to be herself. She just has a really big personality. Not to say Kristen doesn't, but she's just really flamboyant. Is that the right word? Just spontaneous, really. I think she's just a really cute, really cool personality, and I applaud her for winning. I have nothing against her. I haven't seen any of her films, so there's no reason for me to hate her. Um, Josh Hutcherson won Best Male Performance, and of course I saw a lot of tweets, a lot of pissed off tweets, um, many of them saying if, um, uh, if Rob were nominated for Best Male, Act, Male Performance, he would have won. Joss Henderson would not have stood a chance. And that is very true. Same thing goes for Jennifer Lawrence. If Kristen Stewart were nominated, she wouldn't have stood a chance against her. Um, which is really sad. Uh, I, I do feel really bad, the fact that the, most of the people who did win the awards that, that Twilight would have been nominated for, they only won because... Twilight wasn't nominated, and I do feel bad. And not, uh, much of it does go towards their acting ability and their, you know, they're just their fans as well. I think, kind of, sort of, not really. Um, but I, most of it is because they, Rob and Kristen weren't nominated. If they were to be nominated, they wouldn't have stood a chance. Uh, but again, congratulations to Joss Hutcherson. I do think he is a good actor. I've only seen him in um, Zathura, though, which was when he was really little, which. <laughs> Which it doesn't give me that, which I, I guess isn't a very good representation of uh, his acting career now. But he is really cool, and he looks like he's a very awesome kid. So not that I know, I don't know him personally, but he looks like an awesome kid. So again, bravo. Um, Emma Stone, my baby, won for tr best trailblazer. Yes, at least one of my babies won. I was oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. She won. She won, she won, she won. Um, I was very happy when Harry Potter won, can I just say? I mean, it's the last movie. You could only expect that. They won for Best Cast and then Best Hero for Harry Potter. So I was very, very happy for them. It's their last movie. They deserve to win at least an award, you know, and they won too. So I was very happy for them. Very, very happy. And um, uh, Johnny Depp won um, Generation Award. Um, Hunger Games won Best fight, which I I was kind of expecting Harry Potter to win because I haven't seen the movie, but from the clip I saw on uh, the website, it I mean, it looked cool. It looked a lot cooler than the Hunger Games one. I mean, it was magic. Come on, they had wands and stuff, and they, the guy with the no-nos, I, I don't know his name. I don't know. I, I have no idea what Harry... I don't know anything about Harry Potter. I don't, so I'm sorry. Um... It looked a lot cooler, in my opinion, from the clip. And Hunger Games, I don't know. I read the book, so that's only... And the only thing I have from the Hunger Games is the book and then the clips that I've seen of it. So I don't know how cool that was. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know! So, yeah. Um, but let's get on to what you guys really do care about. What is the most important thing in the entire universe right now? Because you guys... You guys, we're awesome. Okay, we won not one award, but both nominations that we were, both awards that we were nominated for. That's what I was trying to say. We won both of them. They tried to help, they tried to bring us down. They tried to be like, you know what, Twilight, you guys suck. We're just gonna only give you two nominations. See if you win those two. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? We won. Suck it. Suck it. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't bring us down. You cannot mess with this fandom, because we, you, we are fucking, we're the shit. I? We're the shit. You can't, you can't defeat us, okay? You can't. You can't. And, um, in case you guys are wondering, and if you haven't watched, 
Uh, the acceptance speeches for best movie and best kiss. I especially recommend you watch best kiss because that was fucking awesome. I'll get to that in a minute. The links will be, everything will be down in the boxer drawer as always. I mean, come on, you should know me by now. Just check the boxer drawer. You should just know that. Can I just say that? Uh, before you even watch the video, my video, my ne my newest video, just check the boxer drawer because there's a lot of awesomeness down there and you need to check it out. I mean, and it's Bob's boxer drawer. What else, what else do I need to say? I mean, you guys all know that Bob's Fox Jar is full of awesome. And Heineken. And Bear's Chew Toy. And Kristen's Long. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> you know. You never know. You never I don't know. I don't know what their clothing arrangement is at their house. Anyways, besides the point. Sorry, Proofy Thought. Anyway. Best Kiss. I absolutely love... Now, can I just say, Kristen, girl, your dress, gorgeous. I can't, I want it. I actually tweeted this. I'm like, Kristen, when you're done with that dress, can I borrow it? I want to borrow every single one of her dresses. I want all of them. Like, Kristen is probably the only actress next to Emma Stone and, and Nina DeRev that will ever make me want to wear dresses. Because those dresses are so awesome, and I want them so bad. I mean, I, I love the dress that she wore tonight. I love it. It's just so, it's just so, it's so, it's awesome. I still, I still really love last year's MTV Movie Awards dress, though. I still really do love this one, but this one is definitely, like, it's so close. It's not even funny. Anyway. Okay, now, as you guys know, uh, Rob's interview that he did a day ago, and when he was asked about uh, the best kiss, because he wasn't going to be there, he says, I don't know, she'll probably just make out with herself. You guys have the road to watch, and I'm just like, <laughs> that'd be funny if she did. And of course, some people are like, oh, Rob's just gonna pop out and do a Justin Bieber. There's gonna be a pre-recorded kiss, or blah blah blah. And I'm just like, Psh, that's not gonna happen. So she gets up on stage. The first thing I love is uh, after she, it, when she, the winner is announced, she looks at uh, <laughs> Scout, who is right next to her, and she like, she like hits her, or she like, like, like does something really cute, and I'm like. She is adorable. She gets up, and um, she gets up, and she's like, "You guys, Rob's not here." And she's like, "You got Rob's not here, you guys." And uh, and she's like, "I don't know what to do." And she's like, "Huntsman, Hunts," and she like snaps her fingers or something. Come on! And then she really quietly says, "Charlize, come on, help a girl out. Come on!" And then she's like, "Oh God, Taylor, come on, old friend, come on, help, come on," you know. And and it was just really cute. And it's like nobody were to come was coming up. And then she's like, you. Know, and she's like, it's okay, cause I can I do it better on myself. And then she turns around and she does this for like a few seconds. And then <laughs> with the biggest smile like on her face. And she's like, okay, thank you. No, seriously, guys, thank you very much. And bye or something like that. Watch watch it down there. Oh my God. I mean, she made out with herself. Rob said that she would, and she did. Can I, uh, how much you want to bet Rob has been replaying her making out with herself for the past, I don't know, hours since he landed in Toronto? Can I just say, me not knowing where Rob was, for, like, it freaked me out. Can I just say, because I knew he was going to be in Toronto, but I, no one was, everyone was just like, where is he? Is he in Toronto yet? Da da da, da. how long does it, I was like freaking out, I'm like, where is he, where is he? Did, did he get lost? Did he like, did the plane like pull a um, Amelia Earhart and like disappear? No, no, no. And then finally there were like pictures of him landing in Toronto. I was like, oh, okay, I know where he is, he's okay. But how much you want to bet? How much would I bet the minute he found out, that, like, Kristen probably texted him, was like, hey, baby, we won Best Kiss. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if, like, Kristen linked him the very, like, here, here's me making out. Uh, here's my acceptance speech. How much would I bet? Can I just say? Or either that or uh, Rob was totally trolling. He was trolling. He was trolling Twitter. He was totally trolling it or somebody somebody he had the, there was probably a ninja in the mtv movie awards being like oh, okay this is for rob you know so, uh, ruth probably did it ruth did or hpg probably did it. he somebody linked him something or said hey guess what you did one i don't know i'm just being weird um but no seriously that was the most adorable best kiss ever it was like i'm gonna that was the best part of the whole 
thing. I didn't watch it, but I know that everyone was saying that's the best part, and I agree. That was the best part. Oh, my God. That was the best part ever. That's all I'm going to remember it. It was bad. And next year, they better make out with each other. Okay? They better make out. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Now, best movie. Guides four years in a fucking row! Best movie and best kiss. I forgot to mention that. Best kiss and best movie four fucking years in a row. We, is that a record? I think that is a record. Best movie and best kiss for four, We go. We rock. We rock the house. We rock. Have a dance. Have a dance. Okay, I'm done. Uh, but no, seriously, awesome! Uh, especially Kristen's uh, acceptance speech. Best. I mean, she was... <laughs> I love how she was like, I've been promoting Swath, and they keep asking me, oh, you best... You must like the fact that you're moving away from Twilight and doing something else, and she's like, shut up, you know? This is awesome! I'm like, oh, love you so much. And uh, Taylor... He just appeared out of nowhere. I'm like, where the hell were you this whole time? Um, hello, she was calling your name when she wanted to kiss you, but hey, whatever. I'm glad you denied her because I'm pretty sure Rob set the rules down. Like, you probably tweeted Charlize and, and Chris and Taylor like, hey, if when my when Kristen calls your name, you better not go up and kiss her. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to bet. I'm pretty sure. That or they, like, pretended not to hear her. <laughs> I really kind of wish they would have panned out to the audience and, and like, <laughs> that would have been so cute if, if, Tra if, uh, Chris was, like, like, doing headlights and he just hid under the, <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> that would have been so cute, or Taylor would have been, like, bad, bad breath, or I'm caught, or, like, <clears throat> I have a, <clears throat> I have a cold, <clears throat> I can't kiss you. Anyway, besides the point, best acceptance speech ever, just, I love it. I love that we're awesome. I, that's all I have to say is that we're fucking awesome. We're the best fucking fans in the fucking world. World, I can't talk. It was just awesome. And um, next year, I will definitely watch. Depending on MTV's fuckery. I mean, come on. Next year, they don't have anything. They don't have a Hunger Games movie to cock suck, and they don't have a, a Harry Potter movie to cock suck. So just. They, they only have our cock to suck, and they're definitely going to be sucking it hard because they have to really make up for this year, don't they? Don't they, girls? Or guys, if there's a guy watching this. Holy shit, I just said cock suck. Uh-oh, pervy comments going to be down there. Oh, well. Oh, well, do I respect when I say that? And I'm hoping my dad does not hear did not hear me say cock suck or his friend because he has a friend over in his bedroom, and it's going to be, yeah. Oh, I have a feeling it's going to come back. Oh, well. Don't come back to haunt me. Psh, let it. Let it happen. I don't care. Um, so please tell me in the comments below what you thought. Did you watch the Empty Movie Awards? Or were you cool like me and just watched your Twitter timeline and all that stuff? I mean, it was awesome. Um, did you have a partner in crime uh, for the, your Twitter timeline like I did? Because I suggest you guys do that. If you're going to not plan on watching an award, so just ask a person who is. I didn't ask her, I just tweeted a random, like, hey, can you, someone help me? And she did, and I love you, Katie. I love you so much. Again, go follow her, and all that stuff. I'm just gonna link her stuff down there. And I'm gonna embarrass her, but she is awesome. Like, seriously, go. She's a fucking awesome chick. Anyway. So, I love you all. Please comment below. Check out the boxer drawer for all the awesomeness that I mentioned. Just, you know, Rob, just go. Like, Rob commands you to. I mean, come on. And next year, let's make it five years in a fucking row, and they better fucking kiss. They better, no, not, not even fucking kiss. They better make out. Like, totally, like, Rachel McAdams, Ryan Gosling style when they won for best kiss in the notebook. Okay, the total, like, hopping on top of each other type of kiss. That's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. I mean, come on, Breaking Dawn Part 2, they they have, like, Edward and Belle have sex, like, every single fucking scene. Not really, but they do. It, kind of. I'm pretty, it looks like they do. So, yeah, they better, like, freaking uh, do that. They better. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, 
I'll just, I have to go now, okay? So I'll see you guys. Mwah. I love you. Bye-bye.